Hey, good morning, everyone. How are you? Uh, my name is Brad. And I'm Angela. And we are here this week to share a devotional and prayer on unity. Uh, so, you know, thinking about the idea, of course, that we're all home, we're all in our separate locations for the last five plus weeks. And we want you to remember that uh, despite all that, we are still unified as one body in Christ. So today, uh, we're going to share scripture with you. So if you have a Bible close by, you already have it with you, open up to John chapter 15. We're going to look at verses 5 through 8. And it says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. All right, so so when you listen to that, and I'm sure you've all heard that, 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 that this story, this parable of the vine and the branches, um, here's what I want us to think about. You know, we cannot be unified with other believers, uh, until we're unified with God. So that's our first step, being being in unity with Christ. And when it tells us this, is, is, as you look in your Bible, yours, yours might say abide or remain in Christ, and Christ re remains or abides in us. And that means that Christ is in us, and that we are one with him, and that we follow him, we, are, um, we believe everything um, that we read about him. And so when we do abide in him and Christ abides in us, we hear that we will produce fruit. And, and, and that fruit is the good works that God wants us to do. It's us serving God and glorifying God in everything that we do and that we say. So think about that today. You know, think about where's that evidence of fruit in your life and reflect on that this week. And as well, we want you to be praying for that unity uh, with you and God. So we're just going to pray and then come back tomorrow and we'll share a little bit more. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new morning. Thank you, Father, for a new day to um, grow closer to you. And Father, I pray that uh, you would put into our hearts and into every um student's heart, Father, that's watching this video, Father, and, and hearing your word and reading your word, Father, that it would be a reminder throughout the day um, of how close you want to be with them, Father, and I pray that it would be a reminder of um, just abiding in you, abiding in your truth and in your love. Father, we pray this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hey, thanks so much for joining us today. We hope to see you come back tomorrow. Tell your friends, tell your family, and uh, we'll share another scripture on unity. All right. Have a good day.